Oil Matters. Oil marketers are facing a hard time due to late payment by the government. This is according to data from the Ministry of Energy, uh, of Energy, which also indicates that billions of Kenya shillings ha are due for four monthly cycles. On the other hand, the National Treasury has paid 2.7 billion shillings in guaranteed debts to Kenya Airways as its first principal payment. The state owes oil marketers a 9.9 .9 billion Kenyan shillings for the fuel stabilization scheme reinstated from July. Locally owned oil marketers have warned that they're drifting into debts due to delayed payments while struggling with the increased cost of buying refined fuel. The weakening of the shilling against the dollar also is pressuring the strained cash flows. The National Treasury has paid a further 2.7 billion Kenyan shillings in Kenya Airways guarantee debts in the three months. The payments in the quarter include a 2.7 billion principal repayment and a 351.29 million shillings for interest repayments. Last year, the Treasury said it would take over the debt contracted in 2017 from the USA Export Import Bank as a facilitation to the better management of risk for the national carrier. Despite paying down more than 13 billion Kenyan shillings, KQ's guaranteed debt has soared by 13.4% since September last year, mainly from the sharp depreciation of the Kenyan shillings. In other news, the Central Bank of Kenya has launched a new climate finance initiative with European Investment Bank to strengthen engagement by Kenyan financial institutions to finance the climate-related investment. The scheme is also expected to develop the green taxonomy for the financial sector that supports scaling up green investment aligned with the goals of the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement. Over the last decade, the European Investment Bank has helped strengthen climate finance technical skills of more than 40,000 African financial professionals. Christine Adiambo for KUTV.